Okay, so my camera wasn't on. My bad. It is Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com, and today we are going to make some cards from the Artfully Sent Cricut cartridge. <laughs> I um, was recording, and then I had a problem with the baby. I had to stop recording, go tend to him, and come back. Thought I left the camera on. I didn't. Anyway, whatever. We're doing a card, and it's really going to be cute. We're doing the sleeve card um, on page 25. It's kind of like a chandelier-like type thing. And what I'm doing is taking the sorbet cardstock. I'm taking some lagoon cardstock, and I also have this is not from close to my heart. This is just something from my stash, but it's a gold shimmery vellum. Um, it's actually from World One, but you can see through it. It's really cool. Um, and I'm going to make this really fun card. And I'm also going to make the co a coordinating envelope today. Um, so what I did, so you know, is I cut out the card base at 7 inches. So I just pushed the sleeve function, the shift, and then it's the letter um, G. Sorry, that's the wrong one. The letter G. And cut it out at 7 inches. And I'm going to just remove this. And you can see, like, even this in and of itself cut out is pretty straightforward, easy to go. Making cards in matters of minutes is what I love about this cartridge. It is a card centric um, cartridge, but you can use it for your scrapbooking. You can use it for your quick pocket scrapbooking. You can use it for so many different things in your scrap in um, everyday crafts and DIY projects. And we're just gonna remove this. My mat is really sticky and so it's kind of intricate. I wanna be careful that I don't rip any parts of the image. That aside, pull out this part. And if the longest part is getting it off of your mat, you're doing pretty good, right? <laughs> I just don't want to rip any of the parts. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty delicate, but cut out at the full seven inches, but it's awesome. Like, isn't that beautiful? And it has the little score lines in it, so you know exactly where to score. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to uh, be needing that next. We're going to make cut out the envelope. I'm going to use Lagoon for that. And the envelope that I'm going to cut out is found on page... 49 and it actually goes with like the snowy theme, but it has like a scallopy edge to it And so we're gonna cut it out at five inches and you can actually also cut out a liner to it to make it really coordinate Which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna keep it really basic and just cut out the envelope itself So we're gonna cut it at five inches just as it says Okay, and that'll do a five by seven card. And since we cut out our card base at, at seven inches, it should fit it perfectly. And we need to make sure that we turn off our function button. And then it is this guy right here along the edge. It's envelope number 13. Comes up right there. So I didn't have my cam. I pushed the cricket back out, I forgot. Um, I'm gonna turn real dial size off for this just to make sure. Um, I have it cut five inches and it's right there. So we're gonna let that go. turn this off because I shouldn't need my Cricut anymore with what I'm doing today. There's my envelope. 
I'm gonna grab my score buddy for this. And there's little tiny score marks already in there. You just kind of have to find where they're at, line them up. And you just score right on down. And then cutting out the envelope liners, you would just put it right inside, like layer it right on top. You could do, if you're doing this card exactly, um, I guess I would almost recommend using the vellum to coordinate the vellum in both the envelope and, oops, to coordinate the vellum both in the envelope and the card. Make sure you stay on that score line. And yes, I am a huge, 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 huge fan of using um, a scoreboard. There are many different ones available. I like my score pile because it's small, so it's convenient. But it's also not 12 by 12, so if something like this where it goes off a little bit, you may have to work with it just a little bit more to make sure you stay online. And then maybe even turn it. <laughs> like so and then the same thing along the bottom set that aside so you can really see it but it goes right along the bottom like that so then you can either I kind of like to fold it like that. Some people do actually fold it this way. It's really your call. I prefer, I think it looks more finished going this way. So I'm just gonna grab my blue glider here along the, just bottom edges, cause you don't need it all the way up. It's not that high. Okay, stop sticking to me. You can kind of see where you need it like that. And then any of the overhang with the glue glider, it's pretty awesome. You can just kind of roll it away. If there is any. There's only a tiny little bit there at the corner. Just roll it away. Okay. And then what I like to use is a two-way glue pen. Close to my heart has one. Um, let it dry completely and then it'll be a temporary hold to seal your envelope. So we'll get back to the envelope in a second. We're gonna finish our card. We're going to make, make sure we do score it appropriately. Should be right around that five inch line. Should be your appropriate score line. Okay. So what we're going to do now is grab, it should be five by seven, based off of the measurements we know. So I'm just going to cut this down to just under five inches by seven inches, but like barely, like not actually a measurement off of five by seven. Like I'm just going to go right under the five, five inch line. With my vellum. Part two way glue. It's a pretty broad tip, which pros and cons too. But I'm going to use it on this. Um, make sure you get all your little cut pieces out. Get started. You might want to start it on your envelope. If you haven't used it before, I just got mine. <laughs> and it works very similar to like your Zig two-way glue pens. Um, this is just that broad tip one. So when you apply it wet, put to the top of your envelope and then just let it dry. It'll be a temporary hold, okay? But we're gonna apply the vellum to it and make it a permanent hold. But now that the adhesive is moving, we can just sort of brush it on here. 
get all four corners. Clean up your desk if you get it on your desk. <laughs> With the broad tip, it happens. But I want to get it really good on the actual chandelier part because it's delicate. And I want to make sure that that bond is on there so that it doesn't rip or tear or bend at any point in time. Okay. So then we're just going to go from the inside edge out because it's easier if you were to cut it off it's easier to trim off the edge than if it was inside so always start from the inside edge and work out and even if it's a little bit short it should be okay okay it's just awesome and then you can like embellish this like crazy And stamp it and do whatever you need to do but that should be actually pretty good and I want to make sure that my score line is really in there that there's really a good bond because it's not a very wide frame so you want to make sure that you have a good solid crease so that it doesn't rip the card in that from that standpoint either okay and that should be pretty good all right so now what we're gonna do we're going to stamp a sentiment on here And let's see, for this one, I'm going to do best wishes. You could do thank you, congrats on your achievement. Um, you really could do anything. There's so many different phrases and sentiments included with this cartridge. It's insane. I love it. But I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to use, actually, I'm really loving Pacifica <laughs> right now. Um, there's a lot of cool blues. Lots of different cool blues, and I'm not, I should check. I'm not sure if Pacifica is in the current catalog or if it's a discontinued one. And I really should check that. I actually don't know. But, like I said, there's a lot of cool blues. I like to use um, Twilight. I like outdoor denim a lot. Um, the new Glacier is nice. Very nice. But I'm just going to use that down here in this corner. So I'm going to just put in best wishes. Right on the vellum. Okay. And I'm making a big old mess with that. And then you could, you know, put in anything else on the inside, but we're going to stick with just the best wishes for now. And then for this, <clears throat> I actually pulled out the Flamingo enamel dots. These guys. And they coordinate really well, and I was just going to actually top the frame, the uh, flames of what would be the candle with them. Oh, this is still wet, so I'm going to do it on here. No, I'm not going to top it. I'm going to do it right down. I'm going to accent the candle holders a little better. There we go. But, like, it's the same color, so it's cool. It just gives it a little bit of texture, dimension, what have you. On there. And then I'm actually going to grab some sparkle. I'm going to grab Viva Decor. I'm going, I'm going to grab the Viva Decor glitter pen in silver. And that is what I'm going to do on the flames. Just a little sparkle touch on where that part would be, a little accent. And then let's just do a little bit hanging down. Okay, then you just wait for that to dry. Your envelope should already be dry, so now it has that repositionable hold to it, so it'll stay sealed until somebody is ready to actually open it. Okay, so you can see it just, it's like a clear, clear dry. And the card will go right inside of there just perfectly. And you made your complete card in under 15 minutes, including your envelope. And you can make it say whatever sentiment you want. And it's just a very beautiful, professional, quick, easy, no fuss of trying to pick out all these different colors and papers and patterns to go together. It's done. 
Enjoy the moments, guys, and I'll see you again soon at Above Ruby Studio. You can pick up your artfully sent cartridge right now, available at aboverubies.ctmh.com. And there is an awesome prize and giveaway through September 2014 um, for a uh, raffle for everybody that orders the cartridge and then also a no purchase necessary giveaway as well. I hope I didn't just put that in the glitter. Of course I did. Awesome. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>